time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live Monday, May 20th. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Having a good day. We got the S&P up seven, NASDAQ up 120, Russell up seven, Dow is down 155, gold and silver both up, silver's up over 4%. Notes and bonds, a little bit red, 10-year yield up about one third of a percent. Oil down about a third of a percent. Natural gas up over four and a half percent. Grains are higher. Wheat's up over five and a half percent. Euro and the pound flat. Bitcoin up about two and a half percent. Volatility staying a little bit bid today. VIX at 12.34. I uh having a decent little day. I've got my one account is uh got my bots back working in one account. So Green here had a 3-2 re-entry, stopped out for a profit, had an AM ratio, my 945, hit 35%, had a quiet tranche, hit 35%. Uh, my NDX is out of range. My 1DTE is up 14%. Got a current 1-to-1 one -one re-entry is up 47%. Well, that's actually not accurate. I reduced that at 30, got in at 9 08 and it's at 270 so that's uh, quite a bit higher than 47 percent. but that's the total uh my rut hedge is a little bit red and then i've got a current three two that is has been reduced by position size and stop as well and then my uh one dte quad 40 just fired so that is in that account and then my uh my challenge portfolio i had a one-to-one -one get stopped out early But I've recovered from that one, and that, that account's up about 1200 Stopped out on a 3-2 for a profit. Here's the one-to-one -one that got stopped out for full loss. Another one-to-one -one stopped out for profit. My one DTE up 13%. Current one-to-one -one already been reduced. Current 3-2 reduced. So that is it for me. Chadwick has TLC. No audio, Chad. Well, I had to mute. I had to mute it. There, unmute it. There we go. I had one TLC trade that was forty percent and out. Uh, well, not out, but stopped out. So it was, it was a decent winner. Um, my one DTE is currently up twenty one percent. Um, and then I have a uh, Wooga on. Like I got in like five minutes early. And uh, it's currently up. Let's see, I got in at four ten. Currently trading at three forty. So it's sitting good so far. Um, what time did you get in your one DTE today? My one DTE took some heat out of the gates. It was uh, well, I, I had a little bit of uh, I don't know if you saw the. I had to cut the live stream because right as I got on, three people came from uh, big issue that happened at 11 o'clock last night yeah i saw that yeah and so um i ended up getting in like it uh, i think it was 8 39 so, so and it took some heat right out of the gate with iv spiking up and really didn't start booking any profit until this afternoon yeah that was that actually benefited you waiting because i had that run up right at the open yeah it was like it was i mean let me look at the exact time it was 8.39. Yeah, 8.39. So nine minutes after the open, which is, I usually get in at about 8.32. So 
So, but yeah, it, no, it was, it, it, it took some heat. Um, but uh, it's now sitting almost dead center. A little left. Very nice. Center, yeah. I'm, uh, so it's a neutral day. So I'm not doing any power hour unless I decide to do a discretionary price action type trade, which I might. Well, yeah, the, it, it was just kind of an odd, it's been, it seems like it's been an odd day. Like Theta has been kind of, kind of tough a little bit as well. Yeah. Whenever, whenever SPX gets up to new all time highs, when it starts pushing higher, VIX will start reacting to the upside. Yeah. And then it'll just kind of, sometimes it'll go up when price goes up. Sometimes it'll go up when price goes down. It's a little, gets a little wonky. Yeah. And I, I probably could have put on an, uh, now I do have, um, I do have a couple TLC trades on in my second account. I just wasn't comfortable putting one on and a new one on, um, in my uh, TLC account, you know, the ones I post, but my ones, in my, um, other account, I've booked 20% on both of those. They're both ones, a, a lunchtime ones, a power hour. And then I just decided to do that early Wooga in my TLC account. So I'm in that. Let's see the 10 at the money butterfly. It's trading for about a dollar 30. I did take a full stop on a TLC trade that was in my second account on that move down, which was again, really weird. Cause then it just popped right back up. Right. And unfortunately that stopped me out. So I'm about break even in, in my um, second account. Let's see. We had a couple FOMC speakers before the bell and then about an hour after the bell. Uh, Jefferson, and then at 1 p.m. was Mester. Was that what time it was? Let's see. Yeah. Well, 1, 1 p.m. was the bounce. Doesn't look like it was yeah, that quick, head related. That quick drop was right at 1, 105. It dropped about eight points yeah. in like a couple seconds. <laughs> So if I do anything, looks like it's going to be a straddle. Obviously. It's about all we get. was very thankful that this tree service was able to be here so quickly today because that was that was something last night sound like a bomb went off right outside my bedroom window oh yeah, really yeah i mean haven't been very happy with the electric company i told them a while back this was going to happen <clears throat> because the their power their hot line their primary line bumps up against the tree when the wind blows and so it, over time it is eaten it, it 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 has burned burned through it that's what caused it to snap so let's it'll see. cost me 1500 bucks cost you 1500 yeah it's 1500 to get the uh the tree company coming here and get it out of my yard yeah gotcha and, yeah and they couldn't even get it all because it's part of it's still too close to the hot wire. Let's see. I'm trying to bring up my my quad forty. I must be sharing a strike with my one DTE. Yeah, so I'm on the fifty two seventy puts. Yep, I am on the fifty three ten puts. 5360 calls and 5320. It must be, yeah. Okay, so I'm sharing a strike here, but that's my quad 40.
El Piero was asking which Wuga strikes you tick. Uh, on the 1510s, 5315, 5310. And it could use a little bit of upside now. Got stopped out of my one to one for a profit. And I'm right at the uh, cutoff, so another one will not be entering. Still got my three two. Still have both in my other account. Oh, I did have a couple price action trades too. I got 20, 40, 60 on one and 20 in and out on the other. able to sit through a lot of that consolidation after the initial push this morning. I put on a 1-2 and a 1-3 this morning. Both of those are, well, the 1-2 is a little bit red, 1-3 is a little bit green. I put on a 3-4 this morning. That one's down a couple percent. And I actually was going to put on a 2-3, but I'm going to... Well, let's see. I was thinking about putting on a 2-3 and a 1-4 this afternoon. I think I'm going to put on the one four, but not the two three. We do have minutes coming out on Wednesday, which is typically not a big deal, but I'm just going to do the one four. I've got a decent number on already. I'll do that here in about 30 minutes. My 6.7 was up right close to 20%. It may have hit. I didn't have my order in, though, and it now it's dropped back down, so I haven't taken any off my 6.7. My 5.7, I did take half off at 20%, and it's up about 29% now. I did do a little transformer from a trade I had on Friday. Really needed price to continue higher up above the expected move for that one to pay out, but minimum minimum profit, 100 bucks. If we happen to make a big push up, could hit a uh, 
Home run. I get a pin. Yeah, I thought it was going to be good with the live stream this morning. The, the guy from the tree service came about 7.45, so about 45 minutes before the market opened. And and um, he said he had his workers were going to do a place in the morning, and they'd probably, he'd probably come in the afternoon. And I was like, perfect. And then just as I opened the live stream, he calls me and says, hey, I'm sending them there right now. <laughs> so I, was, I had to move a bunch of stuff for them to get their equipment back there, so. It's bad timing. So let's see, I've got one, one of my one to one ring entries. It's got an eighty-five percent profit target at a buck thirty-five. It's trading at two forty, so that's getting close. Don't don't be provoking. Uh, actually, now, let's say uh, I was I actually I haven't even checked because only one of them fired. And so I was like, huh, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, we had a gap up. No, let's see. No, there's no gap. Gap was 0.04%. I actually, I, I was actually wondering why none of the other ones did though. And I hadn't looked, I kind of slipped my mind. Well, it's definitely the move up filter, but then I got filled when it came back down on my, uh, yeah, right here on my 130 Eastern, my 1230 version. But then, let's see. Let's see, is 1230 my last one? Is that the deal? No? Yeah, see, my 1 and 130 didn't fire, which they should have. So, I don't know. I got to check out the activity on those. Did all yours fire? Oh, the move up filter. Yeah, but it moved back down by the time the entry time. So NDX hit a new all-time high today, and it's just kind of held. SPX did not quite get there. Figured it would, especially when it pushed above the expected move, but retraced right before the high from last week was 53.25.49, and we got up to 53. 325.32, so within a fraction of a point.
My Woog is trading at 280. I need 205. Well, I missed my chance at the 5310 straddle. Looks like it's could be hitting about 20% by now. Here's my one DTE. 25 wide on a one DTE. Wasn't so long ago, I was getting 105 wide. It's up about 15%. Anybody else in a Wooga? Yeah, I know. I, I, I got in at about eight minutes earlier than I should have, but got in at 410. Yeah. I got in at, uh, what time did I get in? Got in at. 35. Sometimes Wuga shows up early. Yeah. And it's at, currently trading at 260. I need 205. I got filled at 410. So 205. It's So it's currently up $833. Did six contracts. So I part, paired that with my one TLC trade, which that was a... Um, that was a 1845 winner. Sometimes I put Woogas on in my secondary account. Sometimes I put it depends. Depends what else I have going on. I had a two other trades going on in my secondary account, my second account. So I put the Wooga on in my TLC account today. <laughs> that would be kind of funny if uh, <laughs> I'm the only one that took it and, and it's a winner today. <laughs> so see if it's a winner really early. Like it's, you know, there's still, what, 30 minutes left? It's down to 265. Big, only one of mine fired. I don't know if you heard me talking earlier. One of mine, only one of mine fired and it got, it hit 35%. Right before my, that flush, I believe. There's my current Wooga. I got to miss looking pretty good.
Yeah, I'll probably be doing away with my NDX after the end of this month. Thought it might be a good... I'd like to find something with NDX, you know, something that doesn't use stops just because I have free strikes in there. I might just use it for transformer type trades. Rut, uh, Rut was negative last week, but it's been pretty positive. Here's my current one. My one DTE is 35 wide. No. Let's see. 90. 45 wide. It's currently you, up 25. Are you choosing, how, do you, how are you choosing your strikes, Delta? I'm, I'm cho Yeah. Yep. I'm choosing close to the 20 Deltas. It's up 25% sitting almost dead center. The 15 butterflies already trading for a buck 80, buck 75. Mahomes might come to play early. Since my one DT is dead center, I'm going to go ahead and close it because really any direction would make it lose a little bit. Quad 40 is up a couple percent. Played in a baseball tournament this weekend down in Arkansas. Ended yeah, how'd getting, that go? Uh, pool play did not go well. We ended up getting into the bracket as the last bracket seed and ended up playing our way all the way back to the championship Sunday and lost by two points, last 6-4 in the championship. Mm. It was good. It was good. Uh, good Sunday, though. Drove home through the storms last night. Got home about midnight. Oh, yeah. You would have then. Quad 40 still sitting between the short strikes, the 10s and 20s. So tomorrow, we've got Yellen speaking at 3 a.m. 
do to speak at the Frankfurt School of Finance. 30 minutes before the bell, we've got Waller and Barkin and Williams and Bostic. Those are all before the bell. Then 1045 Central, we've got Barr. And then we've got Mester later in the evening after the market closes. Wednesday, FOMC minutes come out at 1 p.m. Thursday, pre-market unemployment and flash services and manufacturing PMI. Friday, durable goods, Waller, and consumer sentiment. They're giving Waller a little bit higher. They're giving him medium impact here due to speak at Reykjavik. Economic conference right after the bell, right after the opening bell. Close by one DTE for about 23% profit. My uh, one to one should be getting close. Yeah, it's at the buck seventy five. My eighty five percent profit target is a dollar thirty five. That's on the O fives and fifteens. Keep chopping here. Wug is at two forty. Need two o five. All right, I'm going to look at putting on a 1.4 DTE. All right, just posted my one four.
All right, just chopping around. Just like we like to see. The expected move to start the day was 15.3. It's the lowest I've seen in a while. Between now and tomorrow's close, expected move is only 20.9. It stayed at 10 points for, for about three hours today. Yeah. When that VIX was going up. Wuga's at 2.30. Not going to say anything, not going to jinx it. Just telling you where it's at. But I Bitcoin need 30 up 3%, cents. kind of trying to creep back up to all time highs. Uh, Kelvin, just my quad 40. Is the only power hour I took. Still got a, a couple of re-entries on from earlier. See what stocks are doing here. GME all the way back down. <laughs> the Roaring Kitty could not sustain it this time. All the way back down to 20 bucks. Queen Base and Riot are up. JP Morgan down over 4%. What happened there? Booga needs 20% or 20 cents. Something didn't like JP Morgan today. Roku down. NVIDIA minutes. earnings later this week. Who does? NVIDIA. Oh. Yeah. I think it's Wednesday, I think. Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, is that what it was? Discount? NVIDIA, NVIDIA earnings 522 after the close. So, yep, yeah, Wednesday. NVIDIA just a skosh under all-time highs. Riot up big, Coinbase up big, Netflix up over... Three and a half. NVIDIA, almost three. Netflix, a new recent high. Getting close to its all-time highs of uh, 700.99. Yeah, Palo Alto Networks after the bell today. Wuga needs 10 cents. Thirty point expected move in Palo Alto. And put it at about three fifty.
I have managed to come all the way back in my second account after a full stop. <clears throat> now green in that account too. Thanks to two 20, 40, and almost very book 60% on both of these TLC trades. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little upside butterfly. Upside broken wing butterfly and pan W. And filled on the Wooga. Wooga hitting. Fifty percent. Just got filled Plus. at eighty five percent on my one to one. That was the most easiest Wooga I have ever traded. <laughs> Never even got close to really being out of center. Uh, wow. Thank you for uh, mentioning that, Morrow. I guess I got filled and I never saw it. So I got filled on my... Uh... Yeah, I got filled at a buck fifty. Hit profit target. Post that right quick. Quad 40 is up 6%. The 10 strike butterfly. Mm, buck 80. I better put my I better put my order in. Oh, I gotta get rid of my last three two here. That's yeah, someone's trading. All right, I'm gonna close my three two, my remaining piece. Make room for Mahomes. Twenty forty sixty on that trade. My second account. And I've got a 5310 butterfly working for two bucks. Looks like it's trading for about a dollar eighty.
NDX appears it's going to be a loser. Unless we get a last minute flush. It looks like I could have held on to my 3-2 a little bit longer. Not getting close to filling on my butterfly yet. By the way, if there's anyone new here today, feel free to ask questions. We've got in the Zero DTE resource channel, there's a Zero DTE new member checklist. Be sure to check that out. Be sure to check out the Trade Plans channel where I post my up-to-date trade plan each month, along with Chad's trade plan and some other members' trade plans as well. You can always ask questions during the live stream. As you can see, we got a lot of free time. And if you don't ask questions, Chad and I are just going to talk about whatever whatever we want to talk about, which you may or may not be interested in. can't see Royals are really doing well this this year. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I was going to ask you. Just swept the A's. I was going to ask you, can you cover Power Hour on, on Wednesday? I'm, I'm going to the game. Yeah. I'll be there. Thank you. I forgot. I meant to ask you that. Yeah, we were going to go yesterday, but... Um... We got busy in the morning and had some other stuff going on. We went out to, went out to brunch, boys and I did, and then we just decided to watch it on TV. They're fun to watch this year, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. They had the big 10-year reunion of the 2014 World Series team. Oh, everybody, yeah. everybody was back. It was awesome. And that was such a great team. Congrats, Discount. You got filled at two bucks. Mine, mine looks like it's only trading at a buck seventy. Hmm. Anybody else? Are you on the? Uh, I'm trying to get filled on the calls. Do you get filled on the puts? Calls. Wow. Uh, Wade Davis was our closer discount. Not sure if that's who you're thinking of. Oh, your daughter. Oh, yeah. yeah. He passed yeah, he's away. Yeah, he got killed. Yep. Yeah, he was awesome. Now it's Bobby Witt Jr., Bobby Baseball. Amazing. Yeah, 23 years old, I think. Jeez, he's something else. Yeah, it's been... It's really nice. You got a guy like Mahomes and on the baseball team, a guy like Witt Jr. And they just locked him up, I think, for what, the next eight or nine years? Yep. Bobby Witt Jr.? I mean, lots to be excited about Kansas City sports for being a, you know, not a, not a, not a major city like New York or Boston or L.A. 
Oh, oh yeah. Jeremy Guthrie. Nice. Fish. Jeremy Guthrie. He was a great player. Uh, Mukesh. Yeah. What I've been doing is if, cause I like how Madam Butterfly was doing it. Kind of, it just kind of keeps it cleaner. If I get filled on the calls on the butterfly, then I will do the verticals on the put side. If I get filled on my butterfly on the put side, I'll do my verticals on the call side. Oh, very nice discount. Yeah, that's when we didn't have very many uh, fans going to the games, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 2010, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Such a, oh, that's a beautiful park, though. Hopefully that was pre-game and not during the game. What a beautiful stadium, though. I mean, love the park. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, Cody, you may want to check check that order. Are you sure you got filled on the 5310s? Are you sure you didn't buy the butterfly instead of sell it? I did that before. I've had mine sitting on the calls. It looks like it's trading at a buck ninety, buck eighty-five. There's a little bounce over two bucks on the mark. Might be getting filled if we sit here for another second, thirty seconds. Did you get filled, Elliot? You're just still working. It looks like. Hmm. Nice, Cody. Yeah, that's right. Got 15 minutes to go. It's Mahomes time. Five minutes till the MOC. I want to get filled before MOC. No, get back up there. Yeah, the easiest way to think about it is, or th at least this is how I think about it. If price goes, so let's say we get filled on the calls, on the butterfly. If price goes up, then we want to buy a put vertical. So think of it from a contrarian standpoint. If it goes up, we want a bearish trade. If it goes down, we want a bullish trade. So if it goes up, we want to buy the put vertical on the upper strikes of the butterfly. If it goes down, we want to sell a put vertical on the lower strikes of the butterfly. Yeah, buy it a buck, sell it for. You got filled on the puts? Hmm. 
It's moving away now. We'll put an 05 in on the puts. Man, I was really wanting to get filled before MOC, but did not happen. My one DTE is up twenty six percent now. Now we're sitting right between the 05s and 10s. Thirty seconds till MOC. Yeah, and if you're having Trouble wrapping your head around the verticals. Just set, I mean, you can set up a butterfly and just price it at two bucks. It doesn't matter what time of day, it doesn't matter where you're trading. Just do it in toss, set it up, and then set up the verticals. 140 million to the sell side. Yeah, just visualize it. That's the easiest way. Just set it up on the analyze screen and just. You set up a butterfly and then set up the verticals at the different prices that we're trying to get filled at. You'll be able to catch on pretty quick. So if you got filled on the 5310s, you're probably getting close to getting filled on your verticals here if we get another push down. gotten filled yet so i'm gonna lower my position size my quad 40 will close in a few minutes up it's up a few percent my one DTE from this morning will close in a few minutes. It's up 
partial fill at 05. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to cancel the rest. I got seven. I got seven filled at 05. On the put side. So if we go up, I'm going to sell the 05 10s. Four bucks. We go down. I'm going to buy the O O O fives. A buck. Yeah, MNS, that's what I that's what I had typically done. I've And giving it a little bit more time. You just, you know, it's just kind of a sub subjective call. Obviously, the more time you have, typically the better, because all you need is a five-point move. The closer you get, the less time you have for it to make a five-point move. So five minutes to go. Close my quad 40 for about 7%. No, about 5.8%, I guess. I'm going to close my remaining 3.2. My 1DTE is about to close. It's up over 31% now. Made a nice comeback. So those of you who got filled on the 5310 flyer, you guys filled on your verticals yet? Yeah, Mukesh, I think I talked about it in the class. If you sell the vertical, it's four bucks. If you buy it, it's at a dollar. I don't remember exactly, but I think I, I think I discussed that. I need to move away from 05. You all need a more of a move down. Three minutes to go. And my one DTE closed out for 29%. So my challenge portfolio made about 1% on the account today. VIX came down about lows of day. Sure did.
You only need six points. I need a lot more than that discount. I need about 40 points. Less than two minutes. Need a little last minute flush, make everybody happy. All right, you guys should be getting filled on your verticals now for sure. Fifty three ten looks like the number. Mine looks like it's not looking good. Unless we get a quick bounce. Nice yoga delic. All right, you guys got filled on your vertical, so you don't mind a bounce. Let's get back up to 5310. Ding, 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 closed at 5308.24, which for my butterfly is a tiny winner. Barely made it out of the valley. Those of you got filled at 5310, locked in your profits. Nice work. Good day overall in one account, up about 8,000 in my challenge portfolio, up about 2,000. All right, my friends, let's see what we got for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 21st. So Chad will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we'll be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.